So before getting into this video, a quick disclaimer that I will be covering spoiler content when it comes to Classroom of the Elite. Of course, I will be covering Kushida and her backstory, a lot of her reasonings and some of the stuff that kind of makes her tick and my thoughts and opinions and analyzing all of that. So think of it as an explain slash analysis video of into Kushida and who she is. So of course, if you do not want spoilers, then I suggest clicking off the video because I will be delving into some pretty juicy details when it comes to the trader. So of course, getting into her, she is someone that has two masks, much like everyone else in the classroom. But from my observations of reading about her, I've always felt like she is someone that thinks too highly of herself. She thinks she is smarter than what she really is especially in a school full of elite students and I think a lot of that perception is from the fact that she is in class D. She's in a classroom full of people that aren't exactly the sharpest tools in the shed. They're not exactly the brightest and yes you can of course look at the MC himself but he is an exception to the rule and then of course you could also look at her Akita but her Akita has a lot of defects I mean there is a reason why these students are in class D and very much they are being carried by the boy himself the MC so it's understandable but to get to understand why she is doing things the way she is you need to understand who she is and her background. Now she came from a previous school where she was friends with everyone. And the best way I can describe it is that she is addicted to gratification. Very much like how social media functions these days where people constantly need to feel like they're important by having high likes, high shares, comments, retweets, whatever you wanna say. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, all these different social media platforms and how people constantly need to feel important by constantly getting good analytics. But think of that in the real world for her. She constantly needs to feel important. She needs to feel like she's at the top of the classroom, always notice the star of the show. And because she doesn't have any noticeable skills that can really push her out there, and though she may have at a younger age, she's become more of the middle of the pack of the classroom. So she's not as recognizable other than just what she's created, which is her fake persona, that personality that is always brimming, always loving, caring, socializing, talking to everyone, lovey-dovey in everyone's pockets, knows everyone's little secrets, is the social butterfly and is of course very influential because of the fact that she definitely is got some aesthetically pleasing parts about her, whichever one you want to note the most is up to you individually, but she definitely draws in the eyes of the boys and of course being all chummy chummy with all the girls is definitely a benefit as well but there is a darker side to her as you will note from season one of the anime all the early stages of the light novels is that there is a much more darker side where she does not like certain class members because of just who she is and rather than venting to other students she will go online and vent her frustration there say all the horrible things how she doesn't like this teacher or this classmate or doesn't like this couple poking and prodding in the most vicious way possible about her other classmates and those that she is close to now of course one day someone from her class discovers that as all things on the internet someday someone will discover it whether you want to or not it is inevitable and so Someone discovered it and made it public to the rest of the class and the class turned on her as they would. They would not be pleased to find out some of the horrible things that she's been saying behind their back while she's putting on that fake facade. But of course she did not want to go down fighting. Well, she didn't want to be put in a box and being shoved away and being treated horribly. So she decided to tell everyone their dirty little secrets. Who liked who? Who hated who? Who thought of what? And it turned the class against each other. It was a free-for-all battle royale. Everyone against everyone because at the end of the day, all their secrets are out. And when everyone knows everything about your inner thought, and let's be truthful here, we've all probably thought, you know, eh, I don't really like that person or you fought less than someone else. And if all of our dirty little secrets were aired out, it would definitely upset a lot of people, especially in a classroom setting where people are young and are very much easily emotionally compromised. It turned everyone against each other. And only after she did graduate did things start to actually finally calm 
down. Now, of course, you're asking the question of, well, how does this impact on the current classmates? Well, not completely everyone. It does impact Horikita. Horikita also went to the same school and was impacted by all of this, but Horikita does not actually remember anything to do with her. Now, again, it's up to you and the individual how you perceive that, but clearly she has a bone to pick with Horikita, and her plans is to have Horikita expelled because she wants anyone and everyone removed that could possibly get in her way. Now of course you're thinking well if that involves anyone and everyone that could get in her way that also means the MC as well. Her plan is to get him expelled as well and then also get the other person expelled that she is also running to with the information. So of course you could probably guess who she's running to when it comes to her traitorous actions is of course the leader of Class D himself. He is the one she is working with, and of course he is not a stupid person. He is playing the game very well, though not as masterfully as the MC might I add in my opinion, but she believes that she'll be able to get rid of all opposition and then unite Class D under her rule, and then they would be able to rise to what she desires. And that is where I truly believe that she is lacking a couple of french fries of a Happy Meal, as the fun saying goes, or as more clearly directly to say, she's lacking a couple of brain cells. She's thinking a little bit too highly of her intelligence because the reality is, is even if she could accomplish these things, she still has to then take out class B and class A. And there are some people in class A that are very smart, but even then the MC himself is not gonna let that r happen lying down. And again, I was just more throwing out the what if, let's just say the MC just gave up and said, you know what, I quit the school, I'm leaving, and then she was able to get rid of the other two that she wants to oppose. Even then, she would have no chance against Class A or Class B, in my opinion, particularly Class A. But, again, the MC himself is not going to allow that to happen because of who he is and what skills he possesses. But when you look at all of that, and you look at who she is and her backstory, you can definitely see why she has this attitude. She's very arrogant, she's very sure of herself, she thinks very highly of herself. She thinks she can manipulate the classroom to do her bidding because of the fact that she's done it once before in, of course, the previous school that she was in where she had befriended everyone, known everyone's secret, and she's doing the same thing here. She's befriending everyone. She's getting into their pockets, learning about what they like, what they don't like, who they have a crush on, who they don't have a crush on, and she's persuading everyone to gravitate towards her, and then she can use and manipulate that to the best of her. Her advantage. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of her, her manipulative behavior, and of course the mask that she is of course wearing above her. And I would say the opening song for Classroom of the Elite Season 2 is really well done because it really demonstrates a lot of the little subtle details of what is going to happen in Season 2 and the masks that everyone is wearing and the manipulation tactics that are going on within not just Class D but also the other three classrooms as well so again love to know your thoughts in the, co in the comment section down below but if you like this video hit the like button subscribe for more anime content and i'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video